Lionfish are an invasive species in the Caribbean. They're actually from the Indo-Pacific region, places like Borneo, Philippines, Australia. And they originally came over to the Caribbean, probably through the aquarium trade. They first came to Belize, or first at least were seen in Belize in 2008, uh, somewhere near Belize City. So, the real issue with lionfish being in the Caribbean is that they have no natural predators here. The local fish species, they didn't evolve with lionfish in, in the region. And so particularly juvenile native species, baby snappers, baby groupers, they didn't evolve to have that fear response when they encountered a lionfish in the way that they would with a large grouper, for example. All right, so we've got a lionfish here. This is quite a small one. Just wanted to show you where the spines are. Uh, there are 13 venomous spines on the back, on the dorsal fin here. You can see these are the longest ones, and certainly if you do prick yourself on one of these, then you will get stung, you're going to know about it. Uh, there are also two spines on these bottom fins here. Actually, that one's broken off. There's one right in there. You can barely see it, but there it is. There's another one there. And there's three on this bottom fin near the tail as well. One, two, three. There are none on the, on the tail. It's perfectly safe to hold the fish like that if you wanted to. Okay, so Fernando here, community researcher at Tide, is going to show how to fillet this fish. Some people cut the spines off. Uh, we're not going to do that. Personally, I don't think that it's necessary. If you're filleting the fish carefully and correctly, going the right way, then there shouldn't be any need to increase the risk of you hurting yourself while you're cutting off the spines. So just keep cutting it nice and clean to the bone there. Uh, this is quite a small one, so not too much meat on it. This is a larger one we did earlier. But as soon as he gets that knife in there, he's cutting close to the bone. Nice, smooth action side to side until all of the fillet comes off. Now we've got to get the skin off, of course. So to get that, I'm just going to put the knife and press against the skin with the skin facing down towards the board until it comes clean off, just like that. There you go. Delicious with uh, olive oil and lime, or if you want to make a nice batter or something, dip that in there, fry it up. Delicious. Okay, this is going to be like a curry lionfish. Uh, so far we have like tomatoes, we have sweet pepper, we have some cilantro, a little bit of curry powder. I'm going to put in some black pepper right now. We have some margarine in there also. Then I'm gonna squeeze um, I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice in there. Squeeze some lime juice in there. Okay. <clears throat> A little bit of salt for taste. Okay, and then finally we're gonna put a little coconut milk in there. This is gonna be like a coconut curry lionfish. And a little bit of uh, cilantro. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for like 10 minutes and then it'll be ready. Yeah, that lionfish is gonna be served with uh, mashed breadfruit and chaya on the side. We try to keep it as local as possible. The lionfish comes from the sea, and everything else in there is kind of local. Okay, now I taste the breadfruit. Wow. So good, man. It is very good. One common misconception about lionfish is that the meat is poisonous, that somehow it's going to do you harm if you eat the meat. Well, that's not true. Actually, lionfish are only venomous. That means that the spines are the part that contain the venom. The meat is perfectly safe to eat and uh, absolutely delicious. Another major concern that people have about lionfish is what do they do if they get stung? Well, um, first of all, whatever you do, don't rub it. Make sure you get some hot water. Get a hot flannel, as hot as you can bear, and you're going to hold that on the wound. Um, and every time it gets cool again, you're going to put it back in the hot water and keep doing that for 
half an hour to an hour and the swelling will go down within a day or two. We're doing our part here at Tide to do the research to figure out the impact of lionfish on uh, the local environment but we really need your help as well. We need you to start eating lionfish, choosing lionfish and together we can keep this problem under control. Thank you.